I hear things happening. Are we getting items? We are getting items. Look, we're getting items. It's perfect, including what's up, people? I'm Zog. Welcome to my world. We're here. We're doing things back on MTV Hermit Pack. And first and foremost, this is recorded just a couple of hours after the last one ended. So I wanted to make that known. If you said anything in the last episode, there's no chance I'm going to see it. Uh, in this clip at least. I'm not sure when I'm gonna finish the episode. I might finish it tomorrow. I'm not sure. But anyway, this guy has changed a little bit. And the reason for that is because I don't know why. I cannot figure out why, but these guys are shooting creepers and exploding them, even with no players around. Last time, I went into this dimension right here. And it's like one I, once I loaded back into this, for whatever reason, a skeleton decided to shoot. It hit a creeper, it blew up, and everything got destroyed. That's why there's no glass. That's why the design has changed, basically. Every every change was because I thought maybe, you know, there were gaps in there, so maybe they were somehow seeing me. I'm still thinking that they might be able to see me through here, through these uh, chiseled bits, through at certain angles. So I'm not sure. This might have to turn into a solid block of whatever color. Like, I can change the material out. Change it for birch or or dark oak or basalt or whatever. But it might have to change into pure solids and I might not be able to use any chiseled bits in there at all. Because, for example, when I'm trying... Like, this is all chiseled stuff right here. So when I'm trying to do sleep on this, it says I can't sleep on thin air. So it's, to some extent, it is registering as an air block. And I wonder if that translates into mobs being able to see you through them and shooting at you. And then therefore it would try to shoot me. It would hit a creeper and it could go boom. So I'm not sure why or what's happening. But eventually this is going to have to change I'm sure. Now aside from that today we're going to work on this a little more. I'm going to do something that basically removes my ability to have to swing this at all. And I still get everything that I need out of it because... We have something very, very awesome in this mod pack that I really want to get into. And you've seen them before. They are called the spikes. We have the spikes from Extra Utilities and I've already made everything that I needed. I only need the four. I only need the four spikes because of this little chute that we have here. The four spikes are going to remove the birch wood down here. Now aside from that, what that is going to do is it's going to automatically kill every mob there as if it were from a player. Mobs still drop player kill only items, which means we will still get all of the special materials out of it. And instead of doing what you might expect and me putting drawers over there or something, what I want to do is create a different something here. I'm not sure. Do we have any elevators in this thing? I'm not sure if we have any kind of elevators in this. Elevator? Uh, we do kind of, but not what I'm looking for. Um, I was looking for the open blocks type elevator. Open blocks, when are you getting to 1.10? Man, you got a lot of stuff I want to play with. Anyway, so aside from that, I do need to work on some of this other stuff. And I want to have uh, a an area for collection of materials. Somewhere that all of the items are going to be gathered and deposited into a system. Now the system we're going to use is refined storage rather than the drawers that I was just mentioning because of the fact that in here you can still search for everything you want. And like I said, I've been storing everything that I have in here with nothing but one 64K storage disk, which means almost an endless supply of items can go into the thing. And if we ever do run out, it's simple enough. Well, I wouldn't say simple. It's a little bit tedious to make another one, but I can make another one to stick it over there and then the storage can continue to increase. So it's not going to be a big deal. Now, as far as the experience that will also drop using these awesome diamond spikes here, we have something else. Oh, there's a shift click thing again. I actually needed to go back to fast. Fast, I said. Thank you. Uh, other than the spikes, which we'll get back into, I'll pull them back out a little later. Uh, I've already started crafting the uh, refined storage stuff, by the way, and the power that's going to power it. Um, but uh, aside from that, we need to collect the experience. Now, we all uh, what drops from these guys is the solidified experience that you've already seen me use. But aside from that, it also drops the orge, uh, orge, the orbs from that. So the solidifier is a machine solidified. This guy, 
The experience solidifiers from actually additions. Again, this is another guy that I sort of kind of know. He was in my chat at one point in time. This guy right here, we already have some of the solidified experience that we need. An empowered diamantine crystalline. Well, how the crap do we make all of these? Um, there's some kind of empower. We, we got to get into this thing, basically. But once we get this... I can use this to automatically absorb that experience, turn it into solidified experience like you've seen, and then store it just like an item. So anytime anybody wants to get experience or items of any kind, they can go to the item storage. And for example, if they need the solidified experience, they can pull out some experience, just kind of munch on it, nom, 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 and they get all the experience that they need, just like that. As well as, you know, any items, we get the the ribs and things that we want to use for the charms at some point. And the best thing about this entire thing is that it would be completely automatic. We don't have to do anything. And we're just going to keep accumulating the items that we need. And it's going to be really, really amazing. But what I need to do is make everything. I need to make the rest of the refined storage, which is going to take me a while. And one reason I'm starting this episode so early, so I have time to do so. And I need to make this guy. As well as making the empower, empowerer, and whatever this thing requires, the atomic reconstructor, which I already have, just a diamond, I got that one. That one I have already, it's a pretty amazing. As well as this, which I don't think I need anything, redstonia crystal is just a regular thing. Yeah, that's redstone there. This is black quartz, which I already have. I didn't know you could use regular quartz in a piece of coal. Yeah, I know you can get this directly using the ore, which is, yeah, here it is, the black quartz ore, which we already have some of. But basically, I just need to put all of these little pieces together, use what I need to use to create what I need to create, and then we'll work on setting it all up over here, and I'll show you the design that I have for that. Uh, suppose, you know, assuming I actually have one by that time. I have a basic idea for what I want to do, but it's not perfect. It's not set up, it's not thought out well. So once I have all that stuff set up and ready to go, I'll bring you back and we can check it out. I gotta say, every time I push the record button, a big old smile crosses my face. Why? Because I absolutely love this. But anyway, now that I'm finally ready to record again, this is ridiculous. It took a lot of time to get together everything that I needed. I'm not completely done, but I'm at a point where I wanted to show you the next step because this is actually something from Actually Editions. And... It's kind of interesting because what I need, one of the things that I need is the experience solidifier in order to collect the, the experience. Like I was talking about before, I believe I said it. Um, it's actually been a day since I recorded, but never mind that. I think, oh, stupid skeleton. Really? Burn in daylight, you stupid. Don't be an idiot. All right. Anyway. So, <laughs> I believe I mentioned that I did need the experience solidifier in order to get this thing to work because we need to automatically suck up the experience. And I'll get to the design changes here in a minute and explain them and stuff. So, in order to make this guy, I need the empowered diamantine, diamantine crystal block, which needs the empower. Now, the empower, I thought it was just a regular old machine that I could just open an interface and put in the things. But no, this is the actual setup of it. So if we go back in here, I should have showed you while I was here, but anyway. Uh, what we have is this is the middle thing. This is where the actual empowerer block. These other things are display stands that then get charged with RF in order to work. Now, I don't know. I, you see all my conduits laying around everywhere. That's just to, just to get the power there. I don't know if this will actually work with them here, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. We're going to see if it actually does work. So we're going to put all of these on the thing, and we need one here, and then one one and one yeah look at it it's working it is empowering the item which is kind of cool let's put this on the bar and that up there so i can pick it up once it's done i don't think it'll do anything once it's not done anymore but uh you do see it says that it needs a lot of energy this is eight hundred thousand rf in order to get this guy to process uh successfully i have no idea how long it takes but it's kind of interesting there it is okay cool that's pretty neat. I like it. Okay, so while the second one is going, let me go ahead and set it up. I'm going to explain what I was telling you about before. Uh, one here, one, nope, nope. One here, one here, and one here. Yeah, it's going. Okay, good. So now I have one of these guys, which is really good, and I needed that, and perfect. Now, this right here, thank you, Ian. You told me that 
The double compressed cobblestone is actually blast proof or wither proof, I think, is the terms that you said. Now, that used to be a thing that that level of compressed would actually work and prevent explosions or to prevent the blocks from being removed if you, uh, if you did what, uh, what am I trying to say? It used to be that way. Used to be that double compressed was good enough, but it's not anymore. Double compressed is not strong enough to withstand a wither blast. Septuple and octuple compressed are now the wither proof blocks. You have to go all the way if you want them, which means they're no longer easy to get. And for creeper explosions, double is still not strong enough. You have to go all the way to triple for creeper blasts. Okay, so we have a full set of uh, triple compressed cobblestone right here for the regular old creeper blast. Now, I did test this with a block of TNT as well. The triple cannot, cannot withstand a TNT blast, but it can withstand a creeper blast. As you can see here, part of the floor is getting destroyed by cre creeper blast, but now the mobs are not getting, you know, they're not leaving. They're not uh, escaping. So we're good there. I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't have to withstand TNT. It just has to withstand the creepers. So that's our only real worry there. Anyway, so what I need to do now, and now that I have these guys, is I can go ahead and make my experience solidifier. I believe I have everything for now. Yes, I do. Plus all the other stuff that I'm collecting up in here as well. More triple, because I want to build out a little something. I'm Well, actually, I don't think I am. I might. I don't know yet. But that's why I have it, just in case I decide to do some more stuff. Some more work with that. But... For now, it's not a big deal. We're going to put these things back down here. I now have that. I already have the 64K storage disk, the disk drive, the grid, and the controller, as well as the power that we're going to use to power the whole thing. And that's because I've already done it over here in this system. You didn't need to see me do it again. I just recreated it, which took a lot of time, by the way. But uh, it is what it is. Anyway, so the only other things that I really, really need right now, let's see how difficult they are to make before I actually take any kind of a cut. Uh, let's see. I needed the vacuum chest. This is the item. This is actually, I wanted to see if we had the ender, attra uh, the ender item thing. Um, collector. Is it just called an item collector? Let's see if collector works. I think it's called a collector. Yes. Oh, well, no, this is not the right thing. I think it was from ender IO. Um, item, perhaps? Oh, wow. Okay, this is probably brings up everything that's here. Ooh, I forget what it's called. I used it in my Infinity series. And what it did is it, it automatically picked up the items. Be, like, uh, the way it was described to be is that they picked up the items before the items even became entities. Which is really good because, it you know, we don't really need... Well, we want it that strong, but we don't need it that strong. Um, I really thought, enter torch. Oh, throwable torch! That's cool! That's an interesting concept. There's a lot of really cool things in here, but now that I know it's going to take me longer to find what I want, I need to find something that will attract items. It'll either be the vacuum chest that you just saw me pull up, that we do have, or the ender item, item thing that I don't remember what it's called at the moment. Um... I hope I can find that because that was really, really handy. And the reason I want that is just so I can hide it. Now, bottom line is that the vacuum chest, uh, you guys have told me this in the past. The vacuum chest, number one, there's a decoration blocks, which is interesting. But this guy is not too difficult to get. This is a little bit pulsating iron. I have to make pulsating iron by doing this. It's not that complicated to get. It's really not hard. Um, but... The vacuum chest is from Ender IO, which means I should be able to paint it to any block. But if I uh, if I need to, uh, <laughs> I am losing my train of thought. I do apologize. I'll try to gather my thoughts a little better in the next one, next clip. I mean, um, <sighs> if I can get the Ender item thing that I'm talking about that I can't find right now, then I will. It, it, I can hide it. I can hide it completely, and I won't have to paint anything. But uh, bottom line, if I have to, I'll get the vacuum chest and just paint it if I can. If not, it'll just be showing, and it's what the crap. It still works. 
I think I have everything. Of course, we already know how this works. I think I have everything and it's gonna turn out that I'm missing something. But for now, we're gonna try to get started on this. And the first thing that I need to do is actually prevent these guys from getting at the bottom since we're gonna do all of the work here at the bottom. So we need to make sure we're safe about it. So what I'm gonna do is break, oh, it's off. Ha ha ha, normal, slow, fast, view. Whoop, blink, got it, okay. One, two, three, four, got it, okay, good. Now we need to kill everybody at the bottom. I'm gonna leave that open so I know exactly where to go to. And as soon as everybody's dead, I can start the work. Come here, you, come here, you, and you. Okay, good. Now that we have this done, what I need to do is actually unprotect everything. Are you on unprotect? You are now, including these guys. Actually, I did say everything, didn't I? Thank you! <laughs> so now I can break you, because these guys aren't important, and I can break these guys as well because these are gonna turn into something else. Now, I don't know how exactly these guys work, specifically. For example, the experienced guy, I don't know how it works really, but we're gonna put you there, and we're gonna put you here, and both of you, I, I'm not gonna be able to do what I need to do. I, what are you? Can we, I guess this is taking out? There's nothing there. Put you back in. So, what? It's not actual experience. Okay, good, good. I was like, oh man, is it some kind of cheaty thing? We can't automatically take this guy out. Oh, look at you. That's weird. What just happened? I don't get it. Where'd it go? <laughs> it did. Kaboof. It's, it's gone. It's just, I it, see ya. All right. So it looks like we can't automatically take the out of the guy, out of this guy, but it does appear to store somebody. Okay. Somebody told me that this guy will actually, okay. Don't do that without. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. See, I think he just took it. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But somebody told me that this guy kind of acts just like the experience obelisk, but you can choose exactly how many levels you want. 1, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, all, you know, you can get an exact amount of levels out of this guy. You have to eat the experience afterwards, but it works. Uh, so I think this is what we're going to do for the experience, and people can run right up to the side of it, and they'll be fine, I guess. I don't know if I can automatically extract this from this guy. I don't think I'd be able to, but we do have the chest at least. And now that the chest is here, the uh, vacuum chest that is, we can dig down below. And this is the other thing I wanted to do. Gimme and gimme. Did I get both of those? I only got one. The other one's floating around somewhere. Somewhere. Where are you? It's weird how far these guys will travel sometimes. Okay. It's, I don't know where it went, but it went somewhere. That's unfortunate. Gimme! Give me the thing. It's crazy. Where'd it go? Maybe it's in the grass somewhere? Maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I need to set some more stuff up. Basically, I'm going to dig down below this guy. Oh, you picked it up. Oh, hello. And you. Ah, per wow, you're actually really cool. Interesting little thing here. Show range. Oh, look at you. Well, that's marvelous. We don't need you to be that big, but hey, a range. Oh, cool. I can shrink you. How far do I need to mine? Yep, that'll work. We'll just leave you there. I don't need you that big, really. But anyway, hide range and always active. Good. That's pretty cool, though. It's pretty neat how you can do that. Anyway, so now I have this stuff here, and I can do this. I'm going to dig down a bunch for these guys, and I'm going to make a little room below here that people can go down into to retrieve the items from the mob farm that is about to be fully automatic. All right, so I have kind of sort of worked out something. It's not the best thing ever. This is completely exposed, which I really don't like. I wish the whole thing was uh, was hidden, and technically I could drop it down, extend the platform or the, uh, the tunnel, the fall chamber. I could extend it downwards uh, pretty much all the way, and I could even move the vines downward so they wouldn't take as much fall damage and the spikes are still what is going to kill them but i don't really want to do that 
Um, number one, because it would take a lot of triple compressed cobblestone, uh, more than I have access to at the moment. I really want to get this operational as soon as possible. Maybe later we will, but it's just... Uh, something about it, I'm not a big fan for whatever reason. Now, this guy right here, I want to protect this, 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 and this, as well as this guy. Nope. That guy. And this guy. Uh, those are the things I really want to make sure don't explode. Now, the rest of them I kind of want to protect around here as well. I think eventually we're going to have triple compress going all the way down into the floor. Including around here as well. All of this is eventually going to be uh, triple compressed cobblestone, I believe. So I'm not going to worry about if these guys get exploded. I just, or these guys for that matter. I can change that over into triple compressed as well. And we'll just have one big, you know, drop chamber. That actually doesn't look too terrible. It really doesn't. Um, so it doesn't bother me too much at all having the compressed cobblestone there and showing. This right here is my only worry. And... I don't know if there's a way to hide these with conduits or facades or anything, but, oh, well, goodbye. You're going into the system now. Um, but it is, it's working. Now, the other issue that I have is that it is slow. This needs to be sped up a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get some speed upgrades going, which aren't too complicated to get. They're a little bit complicated, but not too terribly complicated. So we can get those going. I'll probably get a, a full set of them, really, because speed is the only thing we need in here. Just a full speed thing in here. And it should help out quite a bit in keeping up with the load that's going to be generated from the mob farm. Other than that, we really don't have a whole lot to do. So let me go ahead and sleep. I'm going to get the rest of this set up, and we can check it out active and live once it's ready. All right, I have the speed upgrades. I'm not sure how fast it goes, but we're just gonna go ahead and s start this thing up. And hopefully I don't regret it. There it goes, they're all getting hurt now. They are all getting hurt for sure, which is good. Things are happening. I hear things happening. Are we getting items? We are getting items. Look, we're getting items. It's perfect, including the solidified experience. This is excellent. This is excellent, excellent, excellent. I don't see any, any, any of the... Are we not getting experience for it? We should be getting experience, right? We're not. I don't see any experience in there. Interesting. That's very curious. Very, very curious. So we do have a few items. I decorated just a little bit. I did get the triple um, stuff here set up. Everything is now pretty much how it's going to be for now. Everything is probably going to stay this way for a little while. But if you notice, we are getting some items in here. Not a huge amount of items, granted. We do get, well, apparently we can get some emeralds from this, which is kind of cool. We also get armor from this, which is really cool. Are we missing anything? No, we're, we're about to be missing a helmet. Oh, look, one, two, three, <laughs> four. <laughs> There's a bunch of them in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I, I like it though. It's really good. It's, it's, uh, it's working out. Oh, plus ender pearls, of course. That's always handy. Now, what I've done is I've actually started setting up something else that I wanted to get going on. Uh, and that is the charm stuff. So now I have a charm belt. Interruptions abound. Anyway, what I was talking about before is that we do have the Bobbles charm belt. And if you take a look, we have 36 rib bones, which means we should, in theory, have enough for the skeleton charm. Because all I need is six... Of these oh of course there there go in there okay two three four five six yay all right so now we have those and what I can do is go ahead and make the skeleton charm perfect so I'm guessing I don't know how to actually combine these two but maybe you craft them together um what no where are my slots at man oh there's the slots how do you, how do you make them work? What, like right click maybe? How do I do this? Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. Cool. So shift click, bam. Now we have that one. So we have the charm belt in here. 
So now it's got the one tag. It has... Okay, so now... Skeletons should now ignore us. And as you see, we only need 36 of the catalyzing glands in order to get the creeper one, which I kind of want to play with the skeleton one to see if that's the case. See if it now ignores us. I really want to see that. I really want to see... I want to see that bad. Maybe I'll wait until I get the creeper one. And then we'll check them both out. We'll see if we can find a creeper and a skeleton in here in order to to uh, to test these out. Maybe just a skeleton. I'm not sure. Well, I'll probably wait until nighttime because I have to wait until night anyway. Actually, I'll tell you what. I know exactly where I can go. Let's go test this out now in the deep dark. Well, let's go into this place. Ooh, ooh, lag spike. Can't move, can't move, can't... Ooh, ooh. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Now, skeleton. Hi. Nope, you're a zombie. You're a zombie. Uh, skeletons. Look at... Oh, the zombies got me, but the skeletons are ignoring me. Oh, that is lovely. Even the baby skeletons, it works on them too. Oh, that is fantastic. It works. That is so cool. Okay, so the skeletons are no longer going to shoot me ever, which is excellent. We got to test this out. Hi, how are you? Punch? Nope. Even, even when I hit them, still doesn't mess with me. That is marvelous. I just got to wait till the creeper one and then I don't have to worry about creepers either. Are you kidding me? Those are the two most dangerous ones and we've already got both of those. Oh, almost. I have 30 of the catalyzing glands. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it. But yeah, it'll be pretty awesome. This mob farm is magnificent. I love it. We are going to be completely immune to them. And I saw something else in here which is actually really, really easy to make. Uh, maybe, possibly. I don't think I have any fish on me, so I won't be able to make the thing that I want to make. But the water charm here, these charms are really easy to make. Look at that. And the only thing that changes is the item up here. Like this guy, I well, I can't make him yet, but I probably could. Actually, I probably could. Rabbit's foot, I probably don't have. Uh, armor stand, I could make that, but I don't have one on me. Blaze rod, for example. Bam. And now I have fire charm. Fire protection while carrying. So I can put this in a bubble slot or I can just carry it with me and it would protect me from that. Water charm, drowning protection while carrying. That's awesome. I just don't have the fish. That's all I really, that's all I'm really waiting on for that. That's really, really, really cool. It's also pretty overpowered, but you know, hey, cyclic is a really, really cool mod. Cyclic. And somebody else was telling me uh, that there's a really, really cool item in here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, specifically, teleport to world spawn. Uh, there's two of those. Oh, personal waypoint and okay. So Ender Wing and Ender Wing Prime. Okay. Um, there's an item in here that is basically it works like the eye. Reusable Ender Pearl that carries you. Okay. There's it works like the eye of Ender except it doesn't take you to a stronghold it takes you to like a regular dungeon and i don't know what it is i don't know what it looks like or what it's called but i do know i want to make some of these guys do we any we're not even close to that guy like not even close we need so many of the items for this just to get another heart is ridiculous but it's fine once we get a maximum heart we're fine i mean once we can make them we're, we're pretty much good can we craft these we can craft them Oh, not these. These. Brush. Yeah. Chop areas of weeds and flowers. Oh, that's cool. I kind of want one of those. I want to make one. Of we have a gold one that actually harvests plants and stuff. Detects mob spawns. Here. Oh, no. That I actually had one of those. I played with that. That's not what it was. That found the dungeons. I don't know what it is or what the item is, but it's really cool. Oh, wait. What was that? What did that say? Grow to harvest random junk and treasure. Well, that's interesting. Magic beans. I want to play with the magic beans now. That's kind of neat. Gland. No, we don't have any more glands in there. Anyway, so that's the basic idea. This episode is probably a little bit shorter, but it's a pretty good one, I think. So if you did like it, don't let that like button get lonely and subscribe to see more. Check out the Patreon and donation links down below if you do want to think about supporting me. Thank you for watching. Do what you do, and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps. You win, I die. Okay, they're going that way. That's good. Oh, of course he shot me. Oh, goodness gracious. He did it. Now he's like super powerful or something. Oh, crap. Die.
Bam! Okay. 